Jared Poland Frono's photo dot com and this is your fly me to the moon photo news fix this fix is brought to you by fro pack 4 which you know includes 14 all new custom lightroom presets but what you might not know is it now includes four adaptive presets that we dubbed x1 x2 x3 and x4 now X1 is called Face Enhance, X2 is Full Body Skin Enhance, X3 is Eye Only Enhance, and X4 is called Background Blur. Now talk about saving time. With one click of any of our adaptive presets, you will be enhancing the face, changing that hair color, making those eyes pop, and much more, especially for your portraits where you want to soften up that skin or make it look amazing. To check out Fro Pack 4 in action, head on over to fronosphoto.com slash Fro Pack 4. If you pick them up right now, they are currently on sale, or if you want to save even more, you can get the Grand Slam bundle, which includes Fro Pack 1, 2, 3, and 4, and of course Skittles and those adaptive presets. Oh yeah, by purchasing the presets, you'll score extra entries into winning my Super Huger Mega Camera giveaway. First up, remember a few weeks back when Sigma announced two new lenses, the 500 5.6 and the 15 1.4? I remember. Well, this week, Sigma Japan has apologized for possible shipment delays because of one of those two lenses are in high demand. Any guesses to which one is more popular? No. Now raise your hand if you think it's the 15 1.4. Now raise your hand if you think it's the 505.6 that is more popular. I see you. You didn't raise your hand. Why didn't you raise your hand? Anyone? Thank you to everybody that did raise their hand and played along at home. Now here is the delayed lens. Phone call. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello? Ah, oh, it's Jacqueline from Sigma PR from USA. Oh, will I get to it already? Fine. I'll tell you what lens it is. Goodbye, Jacqueline. Due to high demand, the 505.6, which is scheduled to be released on March 14th, has received more orders than we expected. Blah, 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 blah. We've all heard this tune before every time something sells better than they expected. Now, I guess since they didn't apologize for the 15 1.4, does that mean that it's not selling well? Phone call. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Oh, you again, Jacqueline? Oh, I, I can't say that because that's not really true. Oh, oh, but you can say that the other one is selling really well, therefore you're sorry. Why don't you apologize for the one that isn't selling well? Now, if I had to guess, they probably sold out of the 505.6 for the E mount, but probably not for the L mount for obvious reasons. A fanboy knows a hater. The moral of the story, if you want a 505.6, go ahead and place an order sooner rather than later. Quickly, before we get into the next story, I do have a correction from last week's photo news fix. I got all excited thinking that Canon was gonna release a 16 to 50 2.8, and I thought it was full frame. Well, according to the rumor, it would be a cropped sensor lens. You blew it! I'm not as excited for that. Next up, Nikon is going to infinity and beyond. Well, maybe not quite infinity and not quite beyond just yet. But Nikon and NASA have entered into a space act agreement to support the Artemis campaign with the development of the Hulk. I got my pump back, man. Hulk stands for the handheld universal lunar camera. Now I wonder if it will look a little something like this. Will be a handheld camera for the upcoming Artemis 3 mission to the moon. The Hulk. This is where the power lies. Yep. Will house a Nikon Z9 with modifications to the firmware to help with noise reduction and a bunch of other things. A special housing to protect from radiation of space. A new grip to make shooting easier with space gloves on and much more. Now the article says nothing about shooting raw, though it does mention HDR, but if I had to guess, they will be shooting raw. Now I know this because I once called NASA, who then radioed to the space station to ask if they do shoot raw, and they answered back in the affirmative. It's a true story, I, I really did call NASA. Now Nikon and NASA do have a rich history of working together and the Z9 is a fully capable camera that is going to capture some amazing stills but also has the ability to shoot 8K video. Now for those wondering how long it might take to transfer raw files and 8K video from space? Well, I called NASA about that one in the past as well and for reference, the space station has a downlink of 600 megabits per second which is blazing fast. Now I'm not sure what type of speed we'll get from the 
moon itself, but I assume it will be pretty fast to boot, no pun intended. Now I do have a few concerns, less about Nikon and more about NASA, because the Artemis 1 mission was originally slated to launch in 2016 and didn't take off until November of 2022, and I was there. Play among the stars. Now Artemis 2 is slated for no earlier than September of 2025, and Artemis 3 to the moon no earlier than September of 2026. Now that's if everything goes as planned. Three launches in 10 years, not exactly promising. Now to put it into perspective, SpaceX plans on launching 144 Falcon 9s in 2024 alone. Now no, that's not the same as the Artemis, but my prediction is this. Oh shit, what? The Artemis program will be canceled with SpaceX Starship becoming NASA's preferred space launch system. Anyway, when the Hulk, you shall feel the wrath of Hulkamania, finally reaches the moon, this might be what the first photo sent back looks like. And finally, according to Sony Alpha rumors, Sony's about to announce a world's first lens. Whoop de doo, what does it all mean? Now that could mean a lot of things. It could mean a 24 to 120 f2. It could be a 12 to 200 28. It could be a 200 to 500 28 that weighs the same as a 400 28, or it could mean something we've never ever imagined. Now you should see how excited the guy over at Sony Alpha rumors is. He had this to say. A world's first first Sony product. With world's first, I mean a kind of product we never saw before in the whole history of photography. Now with that level of excitement, I have no idea what it could be, but it's certainly going to be revolutionary, right? Wrong. Okay, let's go. According to two trusted sources, Sony will soon announce a lens that no one in the history of photography has ever made. And the rumored lens is a 24 to 70 F2. Come on, dude. Really? That's your earth shattering announcement? Yeah. Now sure, a lens like that is bound to be amazing, but to say unlike anything the world has ever seen before is like saying, these go to 11. Now the reason I switched from Sony a bunch of years ago Go was simple. The 28 to 70 F2 was revolutionary, which which it came out six years ago, by the way. Six. Now that right there, now that was a world first lens that nobody had ever seen before. So Sony Alpha Rumors guy, what you're saying is that the revolution is that this lens goes to 24. Good one, dude. Good good one. Disappointed. Now with all of that out of the way, a 24 to 70 F2 E mount would be an amazing lens, just like Canon's 28 to 70 f2 now i call these type of lenses prime zooms now i know a zoom isn't a prime and can't be a prime but the quality you get from the zoom like this in my opinion certainly is now canon's version weighs in at just over three pounds and costs three thousand dollars new and i suspect sony's 24 to 70 f2 if real to come in slightly lighter and possibly more expensive though not a revolution by any stretch a lens like this two years ago would have potentially kept me in the Sony sphere, but right now I'm not going anywhere because I want to see a second generation of Canon's 28 to 70 f2. Hell, for all we know, it might go to 22 millimeters. And there you have it, Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.